Hi, it's me again, Victoria. Welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah. I am staying in a 1959 Airstream right now. You can see behind me, it's beautiful. I stayed in another one before this um, that was an um, older one that wasn't as fancy as this one. And it was really nice. I love Airstreams. I've always wanted to have one if I ever had my own land. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in And then we moved to this Airstream and I had some problems with Yuki. I took her to the mechanic when I got here because there was a creaking noise she was making. Occasionally, I took her in the garage and they said she needed her control arms replaced. And they said it's gonna be like a thousand dollars and I'm like, like I paid less than $3,000 for her. They didn't have the parts and they couldn't fix it right away. So I'm kind of stuck here in Salt Lake City. Uh, it was not my intention to be here this long. I've been here like a week now almost. And I'm just waiting to find a mechanic to get her in. So I found another one today that we're gonna take her in today and they're gonna do a, an inspection and they're actually special, they specialize in Jeeps. They're gonna go over and we're gonna see the actual problems. She also has a massive oil leak that's gotten worse. And there's a burning smell, which I think it's the burning oil that's leaking. This this is a, some footage of whenever we first moved into this Airstream, 1959 vintage Airstream, um, before we put all our stuff in it. Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all, I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on, put me together. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone And there's also a hot tub at this Airbnb as well Which is nice, it's a nice place to stay If we're going to be stranded in Salt Lake City This is a pretty nice place to be stranded at But we only have two days here so hopefully we can get her fixed in two days If she's fixable So that's the update so far the original plan was to be at the Salt Flats by now I wanted to drive to the Salt Flats today and then drive down to Moab, stopping on some places along the way there too. The goal wasn't Salt Lake City. This is where we are though. We're, just, we're letting it flow. You know, this is just my life now. I don't have anywhere I'm supposed to be. And I'm sitting here with my sister. So it's me and my sister in this Airstream and there's two beds right here. She's gonna be with me for a little less than two weeks and then I'm on my own again. So it's nice to at least have someone here with me. I'm not just doing this all by myself. But. And I've called a lot of garages at this point. It's been really difficult to try and find one that will get me in right away. And some of my other videos, people are like, stop complaining or it's not that hard. I tr travel across the country every other day or something. I'm like, no, this is hard. I'm a woman traveling alone. Not right now, I'm with my sister, but and with a very old Jeep and it just is stressful. And I'm allowed to say that. I use my camera to vent a lot and I'm, Apologize if people think I'm complaining. I'm just like, I'm proactive though. I am proactive. I'm a proactive complainer. Jeeps. Here at the Jeep fixing place. Fingers crossed, positive vibes. Please don't be too bad. I don't know how to get in here. Let's see what they say. After I took my car in, I had to Uber back here and they're gonna look at it. Um, he was really nice. It was a specified Jeep place so we'll see how that goes and then I, on the way back I went and did sliding scale acupuncture for the first time which I've never tried before because I've been very stressed I want to do that with my sister so we did that and then we stopped at a Middle Eastern store and I got halva in memory of Egypt as well as grape leaves and rice and then some pickled mixed vegetables I haven't had halva since Egypt so I'm really excited to eat it so this is what it looks like Kind of like crispy yeah here the garage closes at six and it is now six and i have heard no word she has all my clothes and everything in there so i'm just going to keep re-wearing this outfit i guess 
Ooh. Yeah, I guess it's been a week now living in the Airstreams. Jeep is still in the garage. This is the like second or third day it's been in the garage. It's been in there overnight two nights and I left valuable things in there. And I've been so stressed the past two days, just like waiting and waiting and waiting. The bill <laughs> came out just only $1,700, $1,700 only. <laughs> Way more than the other garage. I don't even know if I talked about the other garage. I took it into another garage before this one. And they're like, oh, it's going to be around $800 to $1,000 to get to the control arms fix because that's what it needs. I'm like, oh, I didn't even know anything about that. So I'm like, I need a second opinion because that's way too much for me to pay. I'm not paying $1,000 for Yuki. No, $1,000? They're like, oh, it's going to be $1,700. I'm like, wow, that's way more than $1,000. And they said it was the tie rod ends, not the control arms. I'm like, how does two garages say two totally separate things? The problem is, is that we have to check out at this Airstream at 11. And we got a hotel last minute because the Jeep's still not done and we have nowhere to be. You can't check into the hotel until three. And I have all my stuff with me because I thought I'd have Yuki back by now. I can put my stuff in there. So I'm going to have to like carry all my stuff somehow. I have like this box and like 10 bags, not 10, but still. And my sister has her stuff. So I don't know if that'll fit in the Uber. <laughs> this is like half or more of what traveling is. It's like problem solving, logistics, getting into situations where it's not ideal and you have to carry a bunch of stuff that you don't want to be carrying around the whole day. It's very hard to function in America, especially in Salt Lake City specifically without a vehicle. And yeah, things don't go according to plan. It doesn't go according to what you want. We're supposed to be in the salt flats right now, but you know, you have to deal with life as it comes. I'll put that under. Finally got into this hotel. We had to wait in the lobby for like three hours because we couldn't, we didn't want to pay the early check-in fee. And it was interesting to watch the front desk reception. We got a place for the night. Hopefully Yuki's gonna be done. I heard from the garage she should be done today. Yeah, they quoted $1,700, so I'm hoping that it's not more than that. To be honest, I don't like Salt Lake City, but I think Utah is absolutely beautiful just outside of Salt Lake. Okay, we're back in business. I picked her up. I'm so grateful to have her back. All right, so we're finally leaving Salt Lake. Very happy about that. We're trying to get to the Salt Flats now. This has been our goal for a long time and me and my sister. I also got one of these little things. So, gotta do laundry first before the adventures because it's been a long time. We are on our pathway to the Salt Flats, Bonneville Salt Flats here. It's very bright. My eyes have been burning on this journey, so I had to stop and like wipe them. Um, we're in the only gas station for miles. It's very expensive, 4.44 for gas here. Before we got here, I was doing laundry. And when I was pulling out of the laundromat, I went into oncoming traffic. Traffic's going this way, I'm going this way. Well, at first the road was completely clear, so I just wasn't thinking because I was trying to follow the GPS. Never done that before. The most terrifying thing I have ever done on the road. And so I'm like, I'm like, oh, shit. And then I'm like trying to turn around. It's too tight. So someone comes up behind me, like right here behind me. They wouldn't back up at all. So I was trying to like get all the way over. It was terrible. Anyways, my sister kept me calm, but that'll never happen again. <gasps> the more you drive, the more accidents that are bound to happen. Anyways, the Jeep is going great. We're all good on that front. So we're going to get to the Salt Flats now and maybe stay in Nevada.
nice small little sound of Wendover, Nevada. Yeah, Nevada. You're still in Utah. Close to Nevada. Our accommodation for the night. This is what forty-four dollars can get you. So I'm stopped at this random grocery store in Wendover. We are in Nevada now. Wendover is in Utah and Nevada. So we just got a couple groceries and um, went to the salt flats to film again. Did the whole filming for my brand deal, which I'm very happy to be done with because it was stressing me out. And I'm kind of late on submitting it because of the car troubles I've had. But I got it done with. But that's gonna be the conclusion of this video. Thank you guys for going along with this interesting adventure. Hopefully the next video will have many more adventures minus all the troubles, but who knows, that's what traveling is. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.